Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am just doing a quick um, little video. I wanted to work on um, the pages for this book and so I thought I would just do a little bit of an extra video and just kind of work through this process and see if we can't get it bound also in this video. Um, and I just want to say a quick hi to my grandson Eli and Jethro and Donald and to my granddaughters Lily and Talia. Okay, so I have several paper packs, uh, or I have several sheets here. I have this paper pack here that I picked up at Joann's, eight and a half by 11, perfect size, but it has all of these beautiful pages in there um, that I can use throughout all my journals. And it's called Time Worn Textiles by Park Lane Papery. Um, so I have chosen, already chosen some from there. Um, with this challenge, there are three or four paper packs. I'm not really sure which ones, but I think I showed these before. This is just some of the paper. I've already folded some of this, um, just to kind of get a head start on the papers. And so my thought process is to... Um, do just a flower journal for the first one. Um, so these are just some of the, they all have the same inside. And then some of them, because you can write on this with um, black ink, I just, for these center postcards, I just did this for a backing. And I have a couple of these. Okay, so um, those are the required papers that are going to be in there. These are some of the other digitals. They are so pretty, and I still have to trim the edges, but um, I believe this one is from Joanne. Just some of the really pretty paper that they have for the... This is from Nevermore Creations, and I backed it with her um, woodland... No, this is um, the journaling page that Joanne had. That's right. So these are some of the papers that they have that are going to go in the challenge. And I kind of want to showcase some of these papers. They're really, really pretty. I don't want to do a journal that has all the pages in it. So, um, and this is another pack. This is Antique Av Aviary from Nevermore Creations from Lindsay. And this one, I did use her woodland on the back so that there would be, um, you know, kind of a vintage writing area. So that's what these are. So pretty. And then these, I can't remember, I'm still getting familiar with the names, but these are just lined bird pages, which is another one that was required. We're allowed to choose three of the different designs. And so I just back these. There was a whole bunch of these pages, so I just back these with the lined pages. And so I think this is going to be, um, the next journal after this will be just a bird journal. And then we'll pro probably do kind of a mix. And then we'll see what we have left um, to design. Like I said, I wanted to do four journals if I can and have time. So that's the rest of the paper packs. There is some um, ephemera pieces that I can use, and I've already cut them up in this little bag here. So um, I think with what's here, I can do just all kinds of, um, I can do definitely do four journals with the papers that we have. Look at these little tiny tags. These are so cute. Um, pockets and then just some journaling cards um, floral and um, things like that and got, I have this I'm not sure what I want to do with this I might want to make it like a big pocket or or something I'm not sure yet we'll get there these are really pretty tags Um, beautiful, beautiful journal tags. 
and a lot of these can be mixed. Um, so I, some of these came from Antique Avery, like I could use this in the flower journal. I mean, yeah, in the garden journal. Some really beautiful images. These I'm not using, these were uh, printed too small and they're from Happiness and Crafting. I love them, I'll figure out something else to do with those. Maybe some collaging or something like that. So there's just a lot of different images and things that I can use to help prompt journaling. And then we have, I had made a smaller one of this, so we'll probably cut that and use that as some sort of journal card as well. And we have some smaller ones. I was trying to figure out how to fit more on a page to get them smaller, but haven't successfully done that yet. So this is all the stuff we'll be playing with for the journal challenge. Okay, and then I also have, I had a day not too long ago where I did jelly printing. So I have all of these jelly prints that I did. Um, this one came from a oh um, dumpling container. I just really like the design and then that's what it came with when I put the paint on it. So I'm probably gonna put some of these jelly prints in this floral journal because there's just a lot of, there's just a lot of fun. This one I could make into a journaling card. I really like this. This is um, was a doily stencil that I got. I think I purchased it at Walmart. Just some colors. Also from a stencil. These are. This is from a stencil. My grandma gave me a whole bunch of paint, so I'm playing with th within that spectrum. Um, this. Kind of looks funny, but it I was trying to make up my own stencil. This was just a cork that I dipped in red. This one here, I believe, was a button that I glued onto a cork and it didn't didn't do what I expected it to do, but we'll we'll do something with it. It won't go to waste. This is uh, just a cleaning off on a, my five by seven. This was getting the negative. I wanted to see how that turned out. It's bright, but it's kind of fun. These are. This is just my um, wipe off, my brush. So we have. It's it's really quite fun to do this. This is another stencil. I kind of liked how I how that turned out. So. So yeah, we're definitely going to be playing with some of these to add into the journal. I don't know if I'll bind the, this, the pages today. I'm thinking about it, seeing, you don't want to bind it if you're gonna do any kind of sewing or, or anything in there that would make it difficult to do while the pages are sewn into the journal. Okay, so I have one signature started. Get out my different papers here that I've chosen for this specific journal. Some coffee dyed paper. This is from Vintage Polka Dot Shop. I decided to order some because I just don't have time to coffee dye. Plus, hers is very beautiful and it smells very nice. Sorry for the for the loud uh, TV. My grandma's watching TV, and we've now moved more stuff into the craft room, so it's get, getting real hard for me to get in there. So we're at the kitchen table, and I have a lot of these cardstock pieces. I don't know if we're going to use them or not, but we might, so have those out just in case. So these are some of the pages. So in this signature here, this is how this looks. I need to cut it, cut this piece down, this music page down. And this is from that paper pack. It's just beautiful coffee dyed paper. Um, music page from a hymnal and then this is the center page now this signature only has nine pages I would like it to have ten so I'm trying to decide what I want to put in here so let me get my cutter out hold on just a second okay so we're going to try to get these signatures together and I'm going to learn how to um, attach the two videos because I don't know how to pause this. 
Grandma needed some help. So anyway, I need to get this down, this music paper down to eight and a half by 11. So we're gonna go ahead and get that cut. Um, okay. Well, I guess it's eight and a half by five and a half. So I just have to decide how I want to cut this. And I didn't bring my pencil, so I'm just going to try to let's see how I want to cut this. Um, cut it down here. Well, let's get this nice and creased first. And then we'll cut down here. And then we'll we need to cut it a little at a time and then we'll have to see how it fits. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So it needs to be, we need to cut a little more off. We'll cut some more off the bottom. Okay. There, that's about eight and a half, although I cut it a little crooked, so we're going to just straighten this up a little bit. Okay, we got that. Now, we need this to be five and a half. Okay, let's see how this fits. Now this page is a little smaller because it had a white border and I had to um, cut that down. So I am good as long as it fits in here with the perfect. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need one more page in here, and I think I will do a jelly print. And I think I want to do that one. And I want it to be in between these two pages here. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this down. These jelly prints, if you haven't tried it, are just a lot of fun. It just you can let your just let your creative juices flow. Okay, that is not going to work. I need my bigger cutter, or I'll just use my scissors. I don't particularly care if this is super straight. There we go. There's that piece and then this piece. My plan is to do four signatures in this journal. I still have to make the... Um, I still have to make the centerpiece um, sort of card. I use a piece of cardstock and then I cut it for the spine size and then measure out where I want my signatures to be. So I need to get a template done for that. Okay, here's that. We are going to stick that in here. Okay. So there's our first signature, and of course I will center these smaller pages in there. So there's the first one. Yes, that is good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so there's one signature. So then 
I need three more. And we have these. Um, that one has birds on it. That one has a bird on it. Well, three of them have a bird on it. I'll do this one. I think I'll do these three here, and I'll save this to include in another journal. So, stick these in here, and then start sticking papers in between. These, these are eight and a half by 11, so they're perfect size, and these are the ones I got out of that paper pack. We're just going to fold these in half. I got those on a really good deal at um, Joann's. I went there to pick up some needles because I lost my bookbinding needles. I don't know what happened to them, and I needed to get some more, so went and picked those up at Joann's and saw this paper pack. Okay, so we're going to put these in there. I have already pulled it up. I also have these papers to choose from these different that I got from books. Um, I really like this one. I don't know if I want to fold it up and put it in there or if I want to do something else with it. And then we've got some of these, some lined paper, some graph. This is the brown packaging paper that I got from a package at work. Some colored paper. These are the calendar pages. And then some more music paper. So, I'll go ahead and get what we're going to put into the journal. We know we're going to do those. And I think I'm going to do a music page per journal. We have three of those. And I do want to do the calendar and I do want to do this. So that is two, three, four, five, six pages so far. And... Wondering It'd be kind of fun to have some lined paper in there I'm just trying to figure out how because I would like it to go this way So I'm just trying to figure out how I would do that. I'll put some graph paper in two of them. And I think if I stitch these, I can't get to my sewing machine right now, so we'll get these folded. I think we'll skip the line paper for today for this journal and I'm going to play with it and see if I can find a way to put it together so we have, um, yeah, we'll do these two and these two, um, find a way to get those attached. Um, we are still going to need, and then we have these three. Yeah, these three. We still need another set. <clears throat> mm. Coffee dye paper. I have that folded somewhere. Right here. So we're going to do some coffee dyed paper. Okay. So these are going to be the cover. Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and get these um, music pages cut. Sorry about that. that. So I'm going to get these down. Okay. Cut this down to. I like that word up there, so we're gonna cut this down right there. Let's see. Just a little bit more off the bottom, and we're at eight and a half. Okay, and then cut this at five and a half. one down to about there. Let's see how that measures. Still a little long. But pretty close. And just a little bit more. Okay, and we'll cut this to five and a half. that one and then the same thing here cut this to about there a little bit more close okay and then we'll cut this to five and a half again Okay, we're going to start putting together the signatures with what we have. Okay, so this one, we will do some coffee paper. dyed paper, then we'll do one of these calendar pages, and then we'll do, because this is the center page here, so then we'll do, um, let's do one of these, this would look really nice here, so we'll do that, and then we'll do some colored paper, piece of coffee dyed paper and a piece of graph paper in this one. So I think I'm going to do two jelly prints um, for a jelly print and two signatures and graph paper in the other two. Okay, let's see how many we have here. We have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more. Oh, we got the music paper here. There's nine. some of this brown packaging paper. Find the center of it. We'll put that right in here.
Okay, I will have to cut this down to five and a half. Okay. Now as you're making um, journals, you can see it's starting to go. So we will actually at some point later take a, a craft knife and just match it up with this coffee dye paper here. Okay, this should be 10. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we have one too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, one too many. We don't need that. Use that in another journal. Okay. There's our second signature. one now the third one okay I'm gonna do our coffee dyed I'm kind of doing them all the same on this book just so that they're uniform I tend to make them really uniform I like them uniform myself so we'll do this this is really pretty I'll put that one in and we'll do some colored paper well Maybe some graph paper here. Um, well, let's cut this graph paper down. Five and a half. Okay. Five and a half there. Some green paper. Some more coffee dyes. We'll do this one. Music paper. And let's see how many pages we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, what am I missing here? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so nine. I need one more in here. And I'm missing a calendar page. We are going to stick that right here. There we go. There's our third signature. And now let's see how this book will look with the three so far. See if we have room for four. So here's what it'll look like. It's in the book and it still has um, quite a bit of room. I don't know if we want to do... Well, let's put together the fourth one and see what it will look like. So I'm going to do this. This one, we'll do this page next. Um, do the green. And I think we'll choose another jelly print image. This one's pretty. We'll use this one. Cut that up. Okay, sorry about that. This video is going to be broken up a couple times, but um, so I'm just going to cut up this jelly print that I want to include in the signature. And then after we get the signatures to get together, that will be the video for this one. And that'll give me some time to, um, in between, care to um, figure out how we want to decorate 
I won't, I'm not going to sew the signatures in right now because I, um, in case I want to sew or anything like that, you can't, you can't do that with when they're in the signature. And I think that's fine because I can just ink that. So I'm just going to fold this up. Okay. So I'm going to put that in there. And we'll do another piece of coffee dyed paper. And then the music paper. Make sure there's 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will put a piece of this in here. That's nine. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so one more piece. Um, let's see, what else did I bring out here? I think we'll do this here. I'm going to fold this in half. See, this is five and a half by just a little over eight. So this should fit in there just fine. So one, two, three, we will stick that right here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So we have our four signatures. And I'm just going to see how they'll look in here. I don't heavily embellish usually, so that might be okay. That might work. So we'll see. Um, we'll see as we get to decorating it. It still lays pretty flat. So, I mean, it comes up because it's got a really tight hinge, but, um, so thank you for watching. And on the next video, um, we will start decorating our signatures.